Good morning, everyone. This is Dana from NextGen, and I hope everyone has had a wonderful weekend. This morning, I would like to share my business planner. And not only do I have a business planner, but I augment it with a three ring binder. And also, uh, I do keep information digitally. So what I'd like to do is share with you how I set it up. Well, first I want to tell you why I did it. If you remember last week, I talked about my five-year planner. Well, the reason I got a five-year planner is because I wanted to be able to document and monitor my transition into retirement. So instead of retiring in 2023, because that was the five-year planner I purchased and that was my plan, I was actually able to retire in 2020. Now, what actually helped speed that up was the fact that I found a business that really got my attention. So what I did was when I started the business in 2019, I knew that I had to segregate my personal from my business. So not only did I have to segregate my personal bank account for, excuse me, my business bank account for my personal bank account, but I also had to document what was going on in the business. It also helped me with planning. And if I were to have investors, which I do, I would also have the documentation to support it. So I did do a business plan. And of course that is an evolving um, thing. And I do have, um, business bank accounts. In addition, now I am using the planner to actually document that. So I have an 18 month planner where I'm documenting everything. I also do a monthly um, summary of what's going on. And if I have any business meetings, I document that. Now I use the three ring binder if I have to print any documents or if some documents were sent to me printed, I would file them in the three ring binder and hold them for a year. Then after that year, I would put it together and um, actually put that with the tax documents. So all of that would be stored. So the, the planner is very important to me. It also helps me keep track of the things that I need to do because I have multiple properties in my business, they have taxes that are due at different times. So not only do I have to keep up with the taxes, but if I have property that requires maintenance or utilities or anything like that, I can also document that into my planner. So it just pretty much keeps me together, if you will, on my business. So. I'm actually flipping through so you can see exactly what it looks like. So on the planner, it is an 18 month planner and I selected it because um, it doesn't take a lot of, take up a lot of space and I can write things down and it kind of keeps me focused on what I need to do. So in the front of the planner, it is a year at a glance. So I'm looking at 2022 and 2023. And that's because um, it is an 18 month planner that covers both years. And then after that, we have July, 2022, and then it runs all the way to December, 2023. So I have the monthly portion in front, and then we go to um, the weekly portion where I would write down um, different notes of what happened at a particular time of the day. And then on the other side, I would be writing down um, notes that happened that week um, and we have to-dos. Now, this particular 18-month planner is different from the previous year's planners that I used for my business. So I wouldn't be using the Habit Tracker but the part about I'm grateful for my top ch achievement, sometimes I do use that portion of the planner. 
But uh, I'm pretty much sticking to writing down what happened that particular day, any notes and any to do's. Now, um, I do a report every month, but my monthly report doesn't record everything because a lot of times if I'm working on a specific issue, it would it may have resolved itself before the end of the month. So I would probably put down the results of that particular issue. So this pretty much keeps me on point on the things that I need to do. And then at the end of the planner, there is a note section. And what I use the note section for is to document anything that is going to happen after December 2023, or I may be writing down um, information that I would need to know all the time. For example, um, telephone numbers for the banks, the credit union, um, customer service for the website, or anything like that. That was what I would put in the notes section. I also have it documented in uh, digitally as well. So I have it in multiple places. But this is just pretty much I can um, walk away with this notebook to take notes or to write things down. Now, this usually doesn't go anywhere with me. I usually take um, a notebook that's independent of the business, of this business planner, but um, that's because a lot of the meetings that I have are virtual. So I just wanted to give you an overview of my business planner. And then I'm also supplementing it with a three ring binder and also supplemented it digitally. So if I did not have a business or let's say I didn't work outside the home, there would be no need for me to have a separate planner. But I do like this planner and it works for me. So hopefully this information was beneficial to you. I would love to see in the chat or excuse me, in the um, comment section below, if there is a specific planner that you use for your business. So again, thank you and I will talk to you next week.